Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to uh, use VSDC video editor. It is one of the best video editor, free video editor till date. Although you have Window Movie Maker, but they have limited functionalities. But uh, in the open source version, it is one of the best free video editor I have seen. Now uh, I'll today teach you how to use VSDC free video editor even if you are a newbie even if I recently installed you have recently installed this VSDC video editor I'll teach you in just few minutes how to use this awesome video editor so what you need to do once you open this just click on plan project now you need to create the project give the project name my funky name okay and finish this interface will open now here the preview of the video will be seen and this is the timeline now these are the tools with which you can import your video or your images in the editor so here it is just second from the bottom add video okay just click on the video icon and now import uh, every time when you import this window confirmation window will appear it asks you from where you want to start this okay. from cursor position from scene begin to send in angle position okay so here the cursor is the, at the start so we want to import it here if you want to import this here or after two second interval you can again import and you can say that at cursor position so the video will be imported here okay now your video is imported this is the preview button once you click the preview button you can see the preview video your currently video waiting behind For example, I want to add another video at the start. So what we'll do, once again click on the import and now, for example, this is the video. Now I'm saying from cursor position, okay. So this is cursor position, this video is imported. But this is overlapping from this video. So what we'll do, we'll drag the first video to the end of the Add the first video to the end of the secondly imported video. Now this is the secondly imported video. Second, this is the first imported video. Now we'll, when we'll ask the uh, see the preview, what will happen? This will go seeing the first video and then second video. Let's start. Okay, okay. So. How you can keep importing many videos clips and arrange them accordingly in any order if you want to wish okay now let's say you want to import an image or a logo this is one of the very important tool you can import a transparent logo or a non-transparent logo and overlap it on the video for example i want to import this logo now what you will have to do you have to just drag it and keep it here you can keep it anywhere but since it is a logo i'll keep it at the bottom left okay now start this logo is visible you can import any image and uh, put it anywhere for example uh, it, it is from start to end for example I want it to appear only at the end what we'll do we'll click the mark here and just drag it and keep it here now the logo will appear 
at the end. Okay. Now, another thing. What if you want? Uh, if you want to give some tool tip or you know, some message. Just, just click here. This is the tooltip. Just click here. From cursor position, leave it. Leave it there. Now, after that, just after clicking, you have to click anywhere in the video and just drag and expand the text. Now, you have to edit this text. Now, right click here. And click on edit text now. Nice mobile. Okay. So this tool tip will be there. Now you want the tool tip to appear at this part of the video only. So what we'll do? We will you know drag this clip and make it short in it or long in it according to your need. This clip will appear, you know, here in the video. Okay. Now, what if you want? Uh, if you want to trim the video, you know, you want to trim the video. So I want to trim from here to here. So what you'll do? There is this icon, you know, this this one. Just, just drag it, drag it here, you know, and expand it to the selection of the clip which you want to remove. Okay. Now you want to remove this part of the clip. Now what you will do? Once you select it, you know, just. So what you want to do is to remove this part of the video. Now, yeah. Once you drag and drop this clip here and you have to then again click on the clip which you want to remove because there may be many video clips here. Uh, and you want to clip this, you know, trim this video. So once you drag here and justify the length you want to cut, after that you have to click on the clip. Okay, uh, click the clip, and after that, go here. You know, cut out highlighted section of the chosen object. Okay, and that's it. The video has been clipped. And this much is also. Okay. So see this, you can uh, clip it, trim it, okay. you can also put graphs, you know, animations uh, and uh, text inside this, for example, you want to put certain text here, okay. My Now you can edit this text here. You can edit the background you know, to whatever color you want to. Okay. So you can shorten it and long in it and keep it at the position where this will appear. So this is how you can. Okay, now uh, we will uh, see how to. You know, sometimes what happens when you click here and here, this uh, these clips disappear. So what you have to do is to click here, you know, and the disappeared videos from the timeline will again be visible. Okay.
now what you want to do is to um, you know um, put a transition between these two clips you don't want this clip to abruptly end and another clip to abruptly start so what you will do just drag it here and now click on the second clip and click on video effects now see in transition there are, there are many transition styles are there for example you want to okay. now see how this will look right okay this is how you can choose any other transition if you if you want to delete this just delete it and uh, choose another transition which you push okay now push you want to push it from scene begin so scene begin okay now so this is how okay second video push it itself from the first video okay, this is how you can do all the effects you know audio effects video effects adding objects putting lines you can do this you can also put contrast grayscale transparency into the video the, this is a property video in which you can edit it and do many advanced things which you can't do in a free version of uh, our normal editor and the uh, amazing thing is it is free but one thing one last thing what you have to do is <coughs> uh, before exporting it to a project before exporting it to a movie file a video file what you have to do is to just click on settings and there is an option acceleration option Make sure this is unchecked. Okay, use hardware extension for encoding video. Make sure it is unchecked because what happens when these guys have intelligently put it here? And just and whenever you will try to export a video, they'll say these uh, no, no, including hardware extension in your project is a premium feature and you have to upgrade. This will be a pain in your head. So just click on settings. This is a one time setting, you know. And just click on extension channel. Make sure it is unchecked. That's all. Now, uh, our project is okay and we want to um, export it. What we'll do, click on export project. Okay. Click on the uh, file means format in which you want to export the project okay this is how you can change the name you know location okay and let's go let's go export project okay the project will be exported in few seconds means Whatever length of the video, it will be exported. The name of the video will be my funky name. This is part of the video. C uses HP videos. My funky name. Okay. So this is how USDC is done, and uh, it is very easy to use. You just have to uh, practice for one or two days, and you will master it. Thanks for watching.